Hey now. Hey now. Yeah, hey now. We are live. Hey now. Hey now. Hey, hey now. Hey, hey, hey now. Hey, hey now. Hey, hey now. Hey now. Hey, hey now. Hey, 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 hey now. Hey now. <coughs> mm, bloody hell. Hey, hey. Give me the keys of the light of judgment, you promise. You use it responsibly. I mean, you would, though. People always asking you, Aether, are you a responsible person? And you're like, yep. Whenever something terrible happens, I'm always responsible. <laughs> How's it going, Aether? Uh, 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 uh. You know, I've had a bit of an... Upset stomach today? Nothing nothing major, just a lot of, um... A lot of time spent calling for Gondor's aid. It's like, I didn't mention it because it's like, well, EB's going through way worse, I'm sure, right now. I'm sure they're, uh, lifting off the ground, you know? Well, he's gonna poop himself inside out! He's gonna lift straight off the ground. It's gonna be like the Incredible Hulk coming out the back of his pants. So I'm looking forward to this, because we're going to finish up Sark. Which has been a pretty good game. Like, I'm I'm pretty impressed with Sark. And then we're going to start this other game called... It's called G-O-D, which apparently stands for Growth or Devolution. And it's got a subtitle, something about Heed the Call, blah, 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 right? Oh, yeah, no, it, it's not really even that much of a problem. It's just... It's just interesting that that happened, you know, today. Twitch did something weird. I, I, I have noticed some weirdness today as well. I had to log in and everything. But then again, I, I don't know. Like, I, I rebooted because I had um, updated my video card driver. And then I had to log into a few things, which is weird. Like Facebook and Twitter and, and Twitch. The, the FTTs, but nothing else. Um, Quora was still logged in, but it took dark mode off. It's just weird. You know, but Twitch had, like, the two-factor and everything, so... But what, what did Twitch do for you that was strange, Alice? It showed a... I believe there is an option in chat where you can display timestamps... And it may have been a, a like a sort of like a quick glitch, like um, sort of like how like sometimes Moogle comes in and doesn't do anything unusual, just says "Hey, peeps," and then the chat just like completely glitches out. Like, it can't handle him. Damn! Listen to this song, though. This is just some music from Xenoblade Chronicles Two, uh, specifically the DLC, and it's like some crazy jazz. That's his code phrase to hack into the mainframe. Makes sense. Instead of I'm in, it's hello, peeps. Anyway, wait, it's Moogle. Hello, peeps. But yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing Sark because I have enjoyed it and I want to see the ending and everything. Um, maybe one day we'll have to go through like the other Sark games, but they're not on Super Nintendo. So like, maybe one day we'll fire up the old... Um, you know, Turbo Graphics and, and play the other ones because they are translated apparently. Oh, let me finish my, my Discord posts real quick. There's another game I should play soon. But the weird glitch that happens with Moogle coming in 
is specifically sometimes, it hasn't happened as much recently, but sometimes when Moogle comes in and, and says something, and only the first time he says anything, the scrolling stops. Now, it didn't happen there because there wasn't enough to scroll it yet, but it's so weird, and it's obviously, hey, Moogle, it's, it's obviously nothing that Moogle is doing wrong, right? Like, uh, how could he cause that? But, but I've noticed, like, there's a lot of weird, like, um... Sometimes somebody's sub badge will just disappear randomly and then reappear in the very next uh, crash. Yeah, what up, Sarah? Or, or the moderator badge will will vanish and then come back after like a minute. I, I don't, I don't know what Twitch's chat API is. IRC. It's Internet Relay Chat. It's really old technology, and that's probably a, that probably accounts for a bit of the fuckery that you see in chat sometimes. But keep in mind that I'm not I'm not viewing chat through Twitch. I'm viewing it through Streamlabs desktop. So, you know. How it goes, it's Sarah. But yeah. I wonder if Sark's original, like, Japanese script had all those obvious, like, Hobbit references. Or was it something that, like, the translators threw in for fun? Hmm. Because, I mean, last week I had that moment where, like, wait a minute. This game already has hobbits in it. And there's a dragon and a, and a magic ring, and, and, and I think there was something else. I'm like, wait a minute. This is the hobbit. And I... but yeah. Made the caramelized onions today. That's always fun. It's just so time-consuming. It's just so time-consuming to make them, but they were worth it. We had, we had cheese sticks. Shaved beef, cheese, you know. How popular was the Lord of the Rings in Japan? I don't really know, actually. Yeah, it's Crystallis, all right. I, I don't I don't rightly know. I mean, uh, it, it's been translated to any language you can think of, you know. But I don't I don't know how popular it is there. Which is why I wonder was it something the translators put in, you know? I mean, because you know there was a ring. There, there is a ring and a dragon, and I don't know if those characters, you know, what they called themselves was supposed to translate to Hobbit or not. Ultima had hobbits, but then they had to change that after a while. Because they were being a little cheeky with that, you know. They changed them to bobbits. There was... In, in the early Ultima games, there were, there were humans, elves, dwarves, hobbits, and something called fuzzies. I don't know what the fuzzies were supposed to be. The fuzzies were really bad stats, though. You didn't want to use them. More games need hobbits touching grass. How about games with hobbits touching ass? Samwise Simulator, when? Right. <laughs> Fuzzy's a gnome? Well, you know, it's weird because the... In Ultima 3, at least, like, the fuzzies... Like, the, there were certain advantages. Like, the, the, the humans had, like, pretty, um... Pretty balanced stats, I think, and the elves were like a little better with agility, and the um, and dwarves are a little better with um, strength, and the hobbits were a little better with magic. But the fuzzies were like bad at everything, and I wonder if the idea of the fuzzy in Ultima might have been this is the hard mode, right? Because they just weren't good. They, you know what I mean? They just had terrible stats all around. They didn't. They weren't particularly good at anything, you know? You could say that they were balanced like the humans, but their stats were just overall lower, you know? Yeah, and I, and I think that that might... It might actually be a, a for self-imposed challenge, because... Ah. Fumi's great. Like, um... In, uh, in Ultima 4, because they had the Shepherd class that wasn't good at anything, right? And that was just basically put there for hard mode. Let me see if I can look into... But, I wonder if they were supposed to be gnomes, like you say? Because I never really understood what a fuzzy was supposed to be. Alright, I've got a wiki up called the Ultima Codex. And... Ugh.
Listen to this. The Fuzzies are a furry bipedal race who for a brief period of time dwelt in the lands of Sosaria. Known to be nimble and highly intelligent, the Fuzzies appeared only momentarily in the history of the world, which would become Britannia, vanishing almost as quickly as they appeared. Yeah, because they were only in Ultima 3. The Fuzzy race appeared in Sosaria at around the same time that Exodus began to unleash his wrath upon the land, smaller than dwarves and even hobbits. These tiny simian creatures. So they're monkeys, sort of. They're monkey men. If they're called simian. Compensated well for an inherent nat la natural lack of strength, excelling at pursuits both roguish and arcane. Not much else is known about them, as no fuzzies were found in the days that followed the foundation of Britannia. So they're, they're like monkey people. People say they monkey around. But they're too busy disappearing from the games because nobody played as them. To put anybody down. Return to fuzzy. <laughs> Okay, so the fact that they were referred to in the Codex as Simeon makes me think they're 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 monkeyish or apeish, right? There we go. There's a reason you made Fumi in the final form. Yeah, because somehow the 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 giant foam monster suddenly turns into a kitsune, which makes no sense. And also, it even though it's the normal type. It uses a water attack, and it's really weak. Um, it has one good attack, which is called Nine Tails. But I generally keep Fu Fumi at oh my god, this song at level four and don't fully evolve it. It's like here I have a Nine Tails that knows Bubble Beam and is a normal type. Well, the dog actually changes a lot because it's it's a dog and then it's a phoenix and it's an Easter Island head. Like most of them change drastically the whole time, but 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 Fumi or Gels or whatever you want to call him starts off as a foamy like snot monster and stays that way and through the first four evolutionary stages. But I I like him because he's he's got a really high gut rating. And what the gut rating does, at least for, um... It's supposed to be tied to critical hits, but what it really does for, uh, capsule monsters in Lufia 2 is it has to do with how often they'll run away, and he almost never runs away. Because don't you hate it when you go into a boss in the first turn, the first thing that happens is your capsule monster dips out? We're gonna start right after this song. I can never skip this song. Na -na -na -na. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How about Easter Island heads appearing in video games that have nothing to do with Easter Island or even Earth? <laughs> right? Why are they in Gradius? And they're in every Gradius game. I'm doing the bass line for Guar playing. Oh, okay. What the? What? How did that Easter Island head get into space and why did it kill me? One part about Xenoblade Chronicles that I can't wait to do in, in terms of uh, playing it on stream is... Because um, I'm going to be playing the Switch version, and I... You know, I had played played it on the Wii, and I would played it on the 3DS, and... You know, on, it, it was one of the best-looking games on the Wii, it was one of the best-looking games on the 3DS. And I just... There are certain moments that are just like, where you just gotta stop and stare. Right? And you just gotta, like, take it in. And I'm wondering how that's gonna look with the, you know, with the better graphics, you know, like, things like the first time you see, um, Satoru Marsh at nighttime, or, or the first time you can actually see the Makanis from the Bionis. You know, there's a lot of really cool moments visually that 
I want to see how well represented it is. So my first thoughts when I saw Xenoblade Definitive on Switch was like, wow, the Shulk looks really young. <laughs> that was my thought. Shulk looks very young. He looks really, really anime. And that was in a game that already looked really, really anime. What about sexy Parodius? Oh my. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play, we're gonna get started here. Ah! Yeet! We gotta go out. We gotta go out. We gotta go out. Oh. Can't hide the aroma of flowers. You can with shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fire! <laughs> That's exactly what she said. It's something about her ass. Yeah, I get the feeling though she's very lonely. She kept talking about her ass. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you beat me! But now you're going to have to take on the desert route to get the water. Oh, I'm dead as shit. My home planet needs me. Goodbye! Let's uh, go down to my pond. I'll teach you the nature of getting quacked out. Fuma's alternate color is fucking whack. He looks like a fucking punk rock banana. Please enter the box. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, are you an ass? You think you could prevent me? You can't stop me, I can't be stopped. Oh, I could be stopped by that, though. Oh, punish me, I got a knife. Oh, I'm a naughty abomination. Hey now, boy, oh yes. I feel like Wayne be lurking a lot and just waiting, like, wait, wait, can I say boing? Can I say boing? Is it time to say boing? Well, let me also remind everybody, both on here and on Discord, that Beavis and Butthead will be shown after stream. So let's look forward to that. One of the two episodes is called Needle Dicks. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but one of the two episodes is called Needle Dicks. Oh, needle dick. Yeah, what what is that all about? Needle dicks, huh? Oh, you know what, Great. I think you're right, because now that you mention it, I remember in the season two trailer, they showed something where, like, Beavis was was getting acupuncture, and he had, like, needles all over him, and he said something like, when are you gonna put the needles in? <laughs> like, you didn't even notice it? Okay, so I'm in the, the flame fort? Um... I think we're ready to beat the game, I think, right? Did I- I got the dragon ring, right? <laughs> Is it in yet? Don't worry, Big Daddy Butthead will tell you when it's in. <laughs> Butthead, I heard you put your thingy into a girl's thingy. Did it hurt? No. And I was never worried that it would. Uh, did I... I Alright, hold on. We, what do we got here? I'm just looking at all the stuff I got. Alright, I have the dragon ring. Okay. Okay. And I did this. Now I should be able to reach the third floor. Okay, cool. One dragon wing with which to kick the ass of all. You shall not pass. Or I will kick your ass. And you'll find out why they call me Gandalf the Grey. That made no sense. That made no sense! Let's just pretend I didn't say that, because that was dumb. Alright. Oh wait, there's no point in fighting enemies now, right? I'm at max level, I can't even get experience points. Okay, um... Do I have the right one on? 
Yes, I do. Okay. We're gonna find out one way or another, right? One ring. One cock ring. For my good friend, Dildo Baggins. Oh, dude, get out. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, no. Oh, 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 and I'm dead. Well, shit. My bad. Is that what happened? It's it's Gandalf the Grey because he's one of the Greys. That cow was pissing me off. Oh. He said horrible things about my mother. Never mind that I don't have a mother. It's besides the point. You fool. I'm doing this to get a safe place to heal. <laughs> oh my. Ah, it's a dog. Gandalf with the gloves off. Remember, no glove, no love. <laughs> oh my. Oh wait, I gotta put the, uh, no wonder I'm not healing, I gotta put the other mantle on. There we go, we healing. If Rohan is offering aid, I will take it, even if it's just emotional support. All right, Rohan is there for you. All the motherfuckers. Theoden, Eowyn, Eomir. Not Grima, he ain't there for you, but but Hama, he's there, right? All those dudes. The Rohirrim. They're gonna cavalry charge right out your booty pipe. And it, it's gonna hurt a little, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be a little rough at first, but in the end, you'll you'll have a nice empty booty hole. How, how are you holding up? I need the gas mask for this part. I know it's got to be pretty bad. Ha! Ah, cap that mofo. Wait, what? What is hitting me? Wait, oh, what? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, there was a guy in there. What do you mean you're at the stage that... How do they know that? Are they in the bathroom with you? It's not so much the horses, it's the spears. That shit's pointy. Oh, okay, so you're just, you're just shitting water. Basically, yeah. All right, well, that's good. Well, I guess you're gonna have to just keep doing that, right? It's like a uh, colonoscopy is like when uh, the doctor sticks a camera up your butt and he says it's to be checking for scallops, but actually he just does it because it's funny. And you have to get one every few years. It's mandatory. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god! Alright, let me, before I step forward here, well actually I think I gotta put the dragon ring on to do, why, huh? So, but let me, let me heal. Well, Butthead has it all figured out. He knows better than the doctors, right? Like big, big daddy Butthead out there. It's not, it's not, it's not supposed to check for scallops. Clearly not. It's because it's funny. Why would you like? Just, I mean, like I know better, right? I'm not gonna do that shit. That's so dumb. She's dumb. Huh? What's happening? The blue gem has started to glow. W wait. 
Neil's chest has started glowing too. She's a dumbass. I can see some light radiating out from between the cracks in the lid. Let's like open Nils' chest. It's... You've obtained... Red Sark Gem. Are you telling me one of the gems was inside the chest the whole time? I'm sorry, Nil Bao, but... I'll need to borrow this gem just until Badao is out of the picture. Yeah. Too bad you can't shit the arm out, right? I wonder why the gems of Sark started glowing so suddenly. Perhaps I'm getting closer to the sanctuary. Oh, wait. Wasn't I supposed to do... Maybe I gotta, like, use the... So if I put on this ring, then... Ah, here we go, here we go, it's working. Oh, shit! What?! Oh my god, we're playing Dragon Spirit, the new legend on the NES. I had no idea this was going to be a thing. Woo! Oh, oh, damn, damn, chill, chill. Sudden shmup is sudden, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. This even looks like a level in uh, Dragon Spirit. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh, I'm getting hit more than I'd like to. Yeah. Yeesh. Our hero, our hero, has a warrior's heart. Oh, maybe you should have had the um. The yellow one, the lemon lime. Or I think it's just lemon actually. Oh, oh, it's a boss! What? Go back to Salamander, you huge shitter. Watch out. That's my personal favorite. Like if you don't like orange. You might like that one. No! They just said they can't have that flavor. Oh, I'm doing badly here. I'm doing really badly. Wait, can I still, like, access the menu? I cannot. Okay. I, I've damaged it, like, once. I think I have to hit it, like, directly on the head, and it's easier said than done. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's fair. Yeah. I've never had cucumber lime. I normally just try to stick to the yellow, the lemon one, or sometimes orange. Cucumber water for customers only. I think I'm pretty safe if I stay right here. Never mind! Best to not tempt fate, right? Ah, well, that sucked. Oh, God, and that's a straight-up game over? That means I gotta... Oh, all right. Well, now I know... Oh, okay, it brings me here. Okay, never mind. That's fine, then. That's a little... Whoa! Uh, 
Alright, I'm already taking damage. Oh my god. The fireballs come out so fast. Well, if you can't have red or blue, I don't think you can have anything purple. I'm, I'm getting nailed now. Oh, goddamn. Son of a whore! Oh no. Maybe I should just try to avoid... Instead of trying to shoot everything? These harpies always nail me, though. Yeah, sometimes the coloring comes from grape skins. Even if they don't use the juice. A lot of fake orange. Yeah, like my mom is allergic to oranges. And she can't even have like fake orange flavor. Because I think they, they must use something from real oranges in there. I think I'm getting to this boss with even less health. I did poorly. Son of a... Got him once there. It takes a long time to damage this thing. Oh god. I would have saved it if I had come here with a decent amount of health. Fucking shit. Let's see if any of the other buttons do anything. What? How did it... Fucking shit. It's like it shoots me from off screen. I didn't know this fucking action RPG was gonna have a shmup level in it. I mean, you don't really know it's in that shit, because, like, realistically, there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. This attempt was even worse. Fuck. Yeah, what? I wonder how many of those I, I actually wound up doing. Alright. Try this again. Already nailed. Oh god. Fucking asscocks. We are the asscocks. One, two, three, four. What else? That was it? You said there were ten. Fuck, 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 fuck. The shots are... Oh my god, the shots are so fast. Ah, your mother! Your ass! I've done a buttload of Pokemon games. We're gonna be doing Heart Gold soon. Just, just kill me off. I, I don't even have half health now. Alright, I see you have a good ra- Oh! Dude. I'm moving to the side and still getting nailed. I've got to get to this boss with somewhat decent health. Hmm. I 
I can do this. Get off this guy and like fight this dragon with my sword. Too bad I can't access the menu and uh, like heal myself. All right, let me let me. Oh my god, I can't even pause it here. Are you kidding me? All right, let me save it. I can't even pause it. No, ah, you're unpredictable piece of shit. This would be a lot more doable if you didn't absolutely have to hit him in the head. I've never even heard of an arcade game called Phoenix. I mean, I'm hitting him, but he's hitting me every time. That's right, bitch. Alright, I'm saving it again. No! <sighs> what an asshole. You gonna get the Furious 12? a million island dressing. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, wait. Well, oh, I was gonna save it again, but I can't pause it to... This is taking way too long, though. Oh my god. Right, I'm loading. I'm loading. We should have like a smart bomb or something, right? Oh god. Why do you keep appearing in the same spot? Ass. I'm loading again. Can't even get my hand on the controller fast enough to hit it again. Fucking... I don't normally mind it, but this is like way harder than it should be. There's no reason it should be this hard. I'm just gonna load. Stay right here, because it's gonna appear right here, right? Oh, but then I take massive damage, never mind. I 
there was a pattern I could recognize, I'm gonna save it. That would be cool, but... Is this gonna hang out down there now? Alright, here we go, there we go. Saving again. That didn't go well, but alright, I'll take it. We take those. Saving it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save scum. I don't I don't give a fuck. Oh! I give a fuck about that though. How does that hit me? Jesus Christ. Oh god, I'm saving it though. He's like shooting more, I think. Because he's low health. Saving it. Yeah, he got the iframes out the yin yang. I see I managed to hit him twice there, but he got me. Alright, no no, no 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 I see, I see, I see. He got iframes out the yin yang. Oh my god, really? He a hot Cheeto. Need to upgrade to the Jalapeno Cheetos. <laughs> oh, you're fucking... I'm, I'm saving it anyway. How you got this much health, though? Dude, what are you doing? We're at the point where I can't get hit at all, then? Alright, cool, cool. I can't even hit him. Well, I hit him there. All right, now he's gonna... I just gotta save constantly. Oh, you're... <sighs> Shit. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Dude, I was holding up. Okay, I saved it there. That way I don't have to worry about that again. Saving. No, not that. Fuck. Ooh, got him twice. Saving again. No, okay, 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 okay. God, that's hard. Whoa, watch out. I was original hardware, I'd probably like stop. This guy's got way too much health. Alright, I only I only need to hit him once more. And there's no like pattern. I thought I I think I loaded. That's okay. I'm saving it here though. Jesus. 
yeah. It, this game has been impeccably good up until this point. Like, I don't mind the idea of putting a shmup level in an RPG like this, but... It's, it's, it should be fun. Can this guy appear somewhere where I can actually hit him? He's just, he's just fucking around now. Now you're over there. Well, watch out. Got him, finally. What a piece of shit. Alright, we got it. Oh my lord. Wait, what do you mean game over? He blew up. Oh, I can avoid the explosion too. Alright, cool. Or just not had it be this hard, right? Like, it shouldn't have to take this many hits to kill this dude. Damn it. Avoid the explosion. Not on. Roar! Your job is done. Go on, get back in the ring. Alright, I am not moving a step forward till I heal. Oh, I'm on the healing thing. Yeah, I hate when games do that. If that guy didn't have that much health, it would have been fine. They just gave him too much health. And it's not like I could have leveled up or anything, you know? I don't know if that would have affected Dragon's attack either anyway. And I'm at the max level that you could be. Save it. No. Let me actually save it. Huh? Someone's lying down here. Are you alright? What? Is that you, Rune? Latok, so you've made it. This far, huh? Have you? <coughs> You're badly injured. Who put you in this terrible state? It's a flying salamander. It got me by surprise. Don't know how I didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, that guy ain't shit. You beat it, did you? Yeah, there would have been no other way to have made it this far. <clears throat> hey! Yes? Take this and get out of here. You've obtained... That's fucked up. That's like when Drac Dracula throws the glass and you that can kill you in that game. A great sword. Fantastic. I finally got that. Oh? As you can painfully see, this is the end of my journey to defeat Badeau. Rune! Oh yes, one more thing. Huh? What is it, Rune? Take this jewel with you. Without it, there's no way you'll be able to make any headway against Badeau. Are you obtained? Or oh, received. Come on. Oh, I lost focus. Green Sark Gem. It's the green gem of Sark. It represents the vital breath of the world, Sark. Yeah, it, I, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest with you. Rune, you do not waste any more time. You still need to make your way through the portal maze. It is then that you will finally reach the location where Bado was sealed away. What's a portal maze? <coughs> it's a maze with portals, don't you listen? You'll find 16 portals marked with letters A through G, and one with the royal seal. You need to pass through them without going through the same gate twice. And you must end by passing through the portal marked with the seal of the royal royal family. Without following my directions to the letter, you'll never reach Bado's tomb. <coughs> if for some reason you pass through the same portal twice, your progress will reset. So pay attention to where you're going. <coughs> okay, so off with you. Hurry up. <coughs> Finally get the best sword. Actually. Okay. No, uh, no, no. I went through a lot of it, but I just got tired of it, like... What new Chad badge? I don't say anything new. Alright. So you can't go through the same ones twice, huh?
Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it now. Super Ultra Combo 2023. Portal reset. Okay. Huh. You could just not go in it. Interesting. Hmm. Now you got that baby Yoshi. Okay, not that one. I mean, if you go in the wrong one, you can just not go in it. The music is bumping. The music is bumping, you're right about that. Okay, not that. But it has to be that. Let me just reset it completely. Wait, now I don't know where I'm... I don't know where... This is loaded. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I want to start that over. Where I'm a little. Maybe I need to go in this. It won't let me. How is how is that, LA Noir? See, that's confusing. Alright, I'm gonna try this again before I look it up. 
Yeah, probably. Let me try this one more time before I just, like, look it up. I think it worked. Okay, that actually worked. It's a weird puzzle, right? What the? Ah, my head. It's the same as in Fort Morma. Ah, it's starting again. Latok. Duel? You've arrived at last, Latok. Is Bado's body in this crypt? Yes, at the bottom. That's where he was laid to rest. His body is... There's no time to waste. I have to defeat him before it's too late. Wait, not so fast, Latok. What is it? Have you been able to obtain all the gems I told you about? Yes, I have them. Then you need to place each one in a separate piece of your best equipment. Does it matter which goes where? Place the red jewel, which represents the strength of Sark, on your sword. The blue jewel is symbolic of the spirit of Sark and should be placed on your shield. And the green jewel, which stands for vital breath of our world, belongs to your armor. Go ahead and place the gems in their respective locations. There, it's done. Well done, my descendant. Ah, the gems of Sark. They're fusing to the sword, armor, and shield all on their own. Oh, look, they've been completely absorbed by the equipment. Now you're ready to fight the fiendish Badeau. Ladok, pay very close attention and be on your utmost guard. Yes, huh? What the? My headache went away. Duel? He must have left. Sucks if you could communicate with the dead, but it gives you a horrible headache every time, right? Yep, final boss time. Oh, you know when it gets all fleshy, you're at the end. What are you doing here? What in the world? Pixie, how did you get in here? Hee hee hee. Huh? What's so funny? Hee <laughs> hee You've made it quite far, haven't you, Latok? What's gotten into you, Pixie? <laughs> huh? The, this behavior. I think she's being manipulated by someone. It is I, Bado. You cannot begin to comprehend how wonderful it felt to have been freed after so long. Bado? Is that really what you said? You will not be allowed to live much longer. That is true, yeah. That is true. That, that whole fleshy part was in the middle of the game. Oh, but there was nothing you, and also when you go inside the queen, nor anyone else in this doomed kingdom can do to stop me. We'll see about that. You are indeed the son of Dork, or am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, my dad was a dork. Yes, there is no doubt. Let me tell you a little story before I slay you. Make it quick. Who do you suppose it was that broke the seal holding me prisoner all these many years? Oh yes, it was your dear father. No, you lie. This is bullshit. Hmm. It is completely up to you whether to believe me or not. My father would never have done such a thing. <laughs> Humans continue to be a race of obstinate little children. You're all not but puppets dancing to my every whim when under my powers of persuasion... And you mean you were controlling my father with magic the whole time? Where is he, you bastard? Who? Your father? Have you been listening to me, you moron? Ah, you managed to escape. I don't even know where, when the ice wall exploded. It was a beautiful sight to behold, its collapse. <laughs> father. You miserable wretch, I'll wipe you off the face of the earth. <laughs> Such boasting. Let's see if you can handle your sword as well as you handle your tongue. Here I come. All over your face and chest. Oh, oh! It makes a shocking amount of sense for that to happen, right? He just appears, beams me, and I die. That made, that made sense, right? There was some Devil May Cry 1 shit right there. 
Oh god, this, yeah. Where it's like, oh, the cutscene is gonna kill you. There might be something that I didn't do that made me get one-shotted like that. I mean, that's all squared away. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just have to try and move. Let me make a save here, though. Like, what the hell was that? Light the beacons! Merge the men junglers! Social berries! I mean, I have all the best equipment and I'm at the top level, and he one-shotted me? That makes me think, like, there's some bullshit happening, right? I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! Alright, let me move to the side now. Oh god! It's like Soul Blazer! Okay, but that kills you. Okay. So it's it's like Soul Blazer, but that beam kills you. All right, let me look into this and see if the beam is supposed to kill you or if there's something that I haven't done. Mm, this doesn't say anything about it. These go to 11. Okay, so the final two bosses are complete bullshit. The Salamander was bullshit, and this is also bullshit. The good thing is it looks like I don't have to hit him as many times based on what damage I was doing. I'm gonna save it right before the battle so that we could, uh... Go through this again. It should be, right? It's part of the culture. Alright, I am saving it right here. Because I managed to hit him a few times and he was taking more damage than what, um... Didn't move in time. I was like, let me hit him first. Yeah, see, I'm doing, instead of having to hit him twice just to do one unit of damage, hitting him once does two units of damage. I think the best thing to do is wait for the beam and get like one or two shots in and then move. Oh, he got me. Yep, meh. Came from the Simpsons, exactly. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Okay, I have to take your word for it. Whoa. Not bad for a little brat of your species. Let me save it just in case I... Uh, uh. But it's not over yet. There's still more? Yes, I have five units of health left. <laughs> oh! He got his health back. Alright, and he replenished. Alright, cool. Right, he looks different, but okay. Oh, 
Oh god. He pupated. I don't know if those other attacks are also instant death. I'm noticing he only attacks when he's at the very top of the screen, but I'm not trying to make that a whole thing. Watch out. My shit. That wasn't too bad, just... Let's talk. Yeah, what are you doing here? What, what is going on? Are you okay? What are you staring at? Huh? Oh, sorry, nothing special. It's just that... Whew. I can't believe this terrible nightmare is finally over. I've grown so much, but I really wasn't sure if I'd ever make it this far. Oh, is that so? Well, let's get back to Fearless. I'm sure everyone was waiting for us. All right. I wonder how the villagers are doing. It certainly has been ages since we last saw them. Hey, Taco, what's going on? Fine, I'm sure everything is just fine. Are, no are we not even telling her that she was controlled by the, the, the enemy? Let's make haste. I can't wait to see everyone everybody again. Those last two bosses were bullshit. Necromancer? Yes, master. How are my plans progressing? Well, master. I must inform you. We have failed. What? How can this be? Badal was once again defeated by the ghost of Duel? Yes, Master. Badal did not have enough power. That meddling nonsense. Curse you, Duel. Dude, it's literally Morgoth. And his second in command is a necromancer? To be continued in a game that's not on the same system because they didn't port Sark 2 to Super Nintendo. So, the main villain looks like that. His second in command is a necromancer. There's a magic ring and a dragon and hobbits. I really kind of want to play Sark 2 at some point. Now, I might have to just put it in, a, in the Wednesday rotation, right? Which means I probably won't get to it for a while, because there's so many things in the Wednesday rotation, but that's cool. Um, yeah, this game is really good. I did not enjoy the, the, the Salamander at the end. The last boss wasn't terrible, but... <laughs> they ripped off Star Wars. But at the same time, I didn't like the whole you get hit once you die thing. But overall, like, really good game. And like I said, I do want to play the other games. Um, they are translated, they're just not on the Super Nintendo. You'd have to play them. Oh, way better than Lagoon. And de yeah, better than Crystallis as well. See, like, this is the first two chapters of Sark. You know? Now, the thing is, 
I'm not sure, but I think this the, the Turbo Graphics version is Sark One and Two, like it's like East One and Two. So I'm not sure if you can just play Sark Two on Turbo Graphics without playing through the first one. But I know three and four are on there as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Fellowship of Sark, if you will. Yep. Yep. That guy was bullshit. That stupid boss. I hated that guy. Stupid salamander. I'm like, okay, you know, I was gonna say something about the dude being a necromancer and like, okay, like Sauron and that, but, but I was like, all right, yeah, I've already pointed out enough, enough things where this is very derived from Tolkien. It's like Tolkien wrote East, right? But then when they show the dude and he looks like Morgoth, it's like, okay. Oh my god, Taco. Look at these scene names. Role-playing game Sark. A lot of the music in this is very Luffy. -a. The end. Buy the next game, bitch. <laughs> All right, well that's Sark. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he looks too much like Adol, other than he looks like anime protagonist. You know what I mean? But you might as well say he looks like Ares from Brandish, right? Alright, well, like I said, that's Sark. I liked it. Good game. Uh, let me, uh, let me start the recording real quick.